Hey guys, welcome back. I have an E15 error code showing up on my Bosch dishwasher. Now the E15 error code means there is water detected in the base of the dishwasher. This is a leak detection system that helps prevent flooding in your home. Now I don't know exactly what the problem is yet. I'm gonna walk through this whole thing with you guys. I know there's a few different things that can cause this error code. So we're gonna go through each one of them and figure out what the actual issue is. First thing you wanna do is shut the breaker off to the dishwasher and turn off the water supply. Then I want to remove the front panel of this dishwasher to give me a little bit more access down near the bottom. This screw right here on the kick plate and this screw right here as well. Then you can remove this piece right here and you will have access to the base of the dishwasher. All right, as you can see, there is water in the base of the dishwasher. So that safety feature did its job. Now we have to figure out where the water is coming from so we can fix the problem. Just to show you how this safety feature works, you can see right here, there's a styrofoam piece that's in here and there's water underneath it. So there's actually a sensor in here. So if this styrofoam piece gets water underneath, it's gonna create, it's gonna float it up to the top. So this floats up, it engages a sensor that says that there's water in here and there's a potential leak and it will shut everything right down so that you don't get a flood. You're gonna wanna check all your connections for any drain hoses. So check all your hose connections. There's a clamp back here. You wanna check that, make sure there's nothing coming out of that. You're gonna to wanna to check this sensor right here too. Make sure there's no water leaking around this sensor. But you do wanna make sure that you have the issue solved before you put everything back together and start running the dishwasher again. All right, so I'm gonna throw a few, few dish towels in here and just soak up all the water. So I've dried up all the water. Uh, I don't see any cracks or any spots where there could be leakage through the drain. So power's back on, water's back on. I'm gonna hold down the start button for three seconds to reset it, which is gonna put it into drain mode, drain the rest of the water out and make sure there's no water coming out of the base. I just finished draining the water and I don't know if you can see it on here, but there's a little drip right there. So you can actually see if I put pressure on this, it actually starts coming out even more. So I'm gonna turn the water back off, turn the power back off. I'm gonna remove that part and just see if there's a seal, it's probably gonna have to get replaced though. Well, unfortunately it's not as quick of a fix as I was hoping. I'm gonna have to order that part, replace it, and then I should be good to go. So fast forward a couple days, I have the part now. It was $26 Canadian. Uh, this is the inlet water supply valve. It was leaking around this seal right in here. We'll test it and hopefully we are good to go. New supply valve is now installed. I'm gonna turn back on the power and the water and test it out. I'm just gonna run a quick nine minute rinse cycle just to make sure we don't have any leaks. There's water going into the unit right now and I don't see any leaks, so that's a good start. It's running through a rinse cycle right now. There are no leaks going on. I'm gonna put the panel back on and it's ready for some more dishes. If that video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna have more content coming your way.